Believe or belief is an interesting word. More often than not, we use the word belief in a doubting way. Uh, like my wife will ask me a question like, Hey, does blue bloods come on tonight? And I'll say, I believe so. So you, you can see how that word is used sort of in a doubting fashion. And another way we use the word belief is a mental assessment of facts. Like, I believe that George Washington was the first president of the United States. But when it comes to believe or belief, that word is very crucial when it comes to your salvation, when it comes to your forgiveness of sins, when it comes to a home in heaven with Jesus forever, that word belief is extremely important. And quite often, people use that word believe in a doubting sense. Like the question could be asked, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And someone might say, I believe so. Or someone might say, yes, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He died on the cross and He rose again. That's a mental assessment. But that's not what the, really the Bible is talking about when it talks about the word believe. John 3.16, probably the most famous Bible verse that everyone knows. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So that word believe there means faith. It means to trust. It's a lot more than just a doubting I believe so, or just a mental assessment of facts. It involves trust. Let me give you an example. There's this old story of a daredevil, and he's running this wheelbarrow over a rope, over a three-story building to another three-story building. And he's going to walk this wheelbarrow across this tightrope. And there's a big crowd down below, and he asks the crowd, Do you believe that I can take this wheelbarrow across this tightrope? And everyone shouts, Yes! Then he asks another question. He says, Who's going to jump in the wheelbarrow? <laughs> and you hear silence from the crowd. Uh, that's what trust is. Uh, the believing faith that you assess something is, yeah, I believe you can uh, walk across that tightrope in the wheelbarrow, but trust is getting into the wheelbarrow and letting that guy walk you across the tightrope. That's what putting trust in Jesus means. It means you're putting your trust in Jesus as your Lord, and as your Savior, because that's who the Bible declares Him to be. And that Jesus Christ left His throne in heaven, the very one who created the universe, Jesus, became a man, lived a perfect, righteous, holy life for you, and then He died on a cross and shed His blood for your sin. And to prove that He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, He rose again from the day to prove, He rose again on the third day to prove that His message is true, that He is the Savior, and He came to save man from their sins. So when you put your trust in Jesus, you're trusting your very soul and who He is, the Son of God, Yahweh in the flesh, to save you because He died for your sin and He rose again from the third day. And He's Lord. So when you're putting your trust in Jesus, it means this. It means that you will not be in charge of your life anymore. Jesus will be because He is the Lord. And we're usurping His authority by claiming our own authority over our lives and doing what we want to do. That's what sin is. See, this sin separates us from God, but Jesus paid the price for that sin. So when you trust in Jesus, you're putting your faith, your belief in Him to save you and to run your life. Because He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You know, that very next verse in John 3, 17 says that Jesus was sent to the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. 
You see, we're already condemned because we're sinners. But He came to save you from your sin. He that believeth on Him is not condemned. But he that believeth not on Him is condemned already because he has not believed or put their trust in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Will you do that today? Will you acknowledge that you're lost? Acknowledge that you have sinned against God and put your trust. Get in the wheelbarrow and put your trust in Jesus Christ today and start following Him.